What were those things called in Cold Steel 2 when we defeat cryptids? They give us special quartz that you can cast, but it drains your entire S your entire EP. Lost Arts, I think. Those things kind of look like Lost Arts. Lost Arts, I mean. Starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> oh. It's not that much of a stretch, right? We've seen monsters that use orbital arts and they sure as hell aren't packing ordnance. Yeah. Yeah, maybe someone's artificially evolving them or something. Okay, so this extermination missions have a story. Okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna finish all of it. Nope. Yeah, no. I kill for an ice. Nope. Ah, we can eat. And with that, the case yes. is closed. Now that we have money, we don't have we don't need to buy equipment. <laughs> All right, sorry, chaos. And yeah, it's this one here. Lower zone depths. Time to depart. All right. Again, let's set up everything before we fight the final monster here all right here's the last one what does it look like yeah why does it remind me of you know the Gehenna monsters in Sky the third oh well we have the CP so we can do this exterminate baby cool Give me your worst. Okay. Attack their weakness with an arc. I suggest oh, nice. we strike now. Yeah, we got the two plus shard boost there for Katra. So make it Go on. an S craft. So this Go is one hundred fifty thousand HP. Yourself. Not a problem. Here's our chance. Yep. Activating skill. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. Here's our chance. Who are? Ah oh, crap, she's in it doesn't have boost. Go activate skill. Yourself. Holy hell. Boost. Here's our Limit chance. Uh-huh. Who has CP? Certain arts seem to work better. We needn't go easy on them. Yeah. Let's bring out their guard. I'll take over. Oh crap. Going all in. Ah, okay. Well, it is sealed, so cool. Back bonus. Nope. Yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> we needn't go easy on them. Anyway. Yeah, let's just use normal attack. No! I won't right. let this chance slip by. Now we have that. Engaging skill. Oh. Yep. Boost gauge of the chance slip by. It's almost dead. Some elements oh. look effective. Don't have CP anymore. Activating drive. Uh oh. Our oh, chance. nice. Can't yeah. move. <laughs> they flinched. Nice. Stunned. Yeah. Up to you, reset. Alright, it's almost dead. And it's dead. Magnus slash this. This'll hurt. I'll strike you up! Oh damn. <laughs> Alright. One step closer to reaching my peak. Let's see what lore we get. Jabber walk on. I think Katra has that. Enemy shard skills were in play here as well.
Yeah, it kind of feels like they came straight from Gehenna, so... What's that? Machine part or something. Z -A Zek Arms. Oh. Shard Skill Module. Oh. Third such module. And that's from Zek Arms. Though it is likely yes. Yeah, so someone was creating artificially endowed monsters. That's Zek Arms. Yep. Zek Arms. They're one of the teams that made it to the third round. Oh. They're your competitor. <laughs> Company was established about five years ago and they have been aggressively increasing their market share since before the war began. The recent attempts to expand into contracted security put them in direct... Okay. They have seen little success in that area but that hasn't deterred them. But they were experimenting with traditional weaponry and patrol machinery. Possibly. I doubt they're under contract. I'm thinking they came of their own volition. Yeah. They were field testing. This place is a breeding ground for powerful monsters, which makes it a perfect venue to test their new weaponry. Oh. I see. What? What? They claim to be an ordinary weapons manufacturer, but they are clearly in anything. Yeah. <laughs> She's so supportive. Yep. Maybe they're gonna be the big bad in the next Daybreak game. All right. That's all, folks. Yeah, I think we're good. We don't have uh, anything else. But well, let's check to see if we find any sub events. If not, yeah, we're gonna push with the story. Oh, it rang. What? Hey, what up? Jack dude. Nope. This <laughs> Done it again. Yeah, sure. What the hell's Elaine up to? Yeah. But first... We gotta check for sub events. Heading to the, the east objective. district. And ah, uh, see, there's a sub event it's here. So pretty. Oh, I, I that's still Aaron. everything here. Uh, Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Okay. All right then. Can't interact with that sub event. I don't know why. Oh, let's see if the go. South District has sub-events. You have key event. Nothing. All right. As resplendent as you'd expect. Oh, 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 oh. Let's check the inn first. Yeah, might have enough points for a new equipment. Let's see. Interim report. Oh, we did a lot. Yes. <laughs> Those are impressive results. Then I'll update your rank. What Got do you it. get? Hermes gear. God damn it. We just spent all our money buying equipment and then we got another one. Okay, what's the Hermes gear? Uh, this is a better one. Ha uh ha. -huh. Alright. 
But you'll be in competition with Fairy for speed. Oh, no, no, no. She has 162. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. She's our little speed demon. So let's save and then let's go to the Bracer Guild. Let's see what's up with the lane. Uh, Bracer Guild. Rasion Branch. What up, Jacket Dude? Oh. Yeah, I already checked everywhere, so... And we saved, just in case I forgot something. What up? That's the sitch. That's what she told us initially, but um... Okay. After the third round ended, Elaine returned to the guild. After a bit, she said she was gonna go see her folks back home. She looked exhausted, so I told her, okay. I just thought that she was worn out from all those battles, but now I realized that there was more to it than that. Did she go back? A while later, a courier named Hermes, oh, Hermes is here, dropped off a letter from Elaine. Yeah. Oh, she quit? Did she quit? So if she turned that in, then that... Yeah, she quit. Oh. The timing concerns me most. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, what up, Ren? I was tied up helping someone else. Elaine came by the guild earlier today. She asked me to do a small favor for her. She gave me a flash drive and asked me to verify the authenticity of the data stored on OK. What was in the data? What data? It was all incomplete, but I could tell it enta entailed multiple Mira transactions and large ones at that. Oh, the primary sponsors. So... Maybe it's Elaine's dad bankrolling Almada? Yeah, maybe it's her father. She's probably headed to or has already arrived at the site of Almada's largest investor. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, it's Elaine's dad. For a celebrity or a company executive. That narrows it down. Oh, yes. Yeah, she, he mentioned that. I figured I'd make myself useful. Well, yes. <laughs> There's two possible suspects. The first is the owner of the Opera House, Adeline Monan, J something. She's independently wealthy and has deep ties to Orassian's upper crust, but she's coming from nowhere, so... Uh-huh, Sir Almada went after two film festivals. I think it's entirely possible she's backing them. Could be. 
No, I, I think it's Elaine's dad. He's the head of the conservative faction here and he's a hard on immigrants. He also interacts with descendants of the old nobility. Yeah, but why destroy Orasio? <laughs> the conditions we outlined could match a couple of other people too. That person is... Yeah... Yeah, it's him. Yep. I think Elaine resigned to save the guild from embarrassment. Yes. I got a feeling. Eh, fine. Yeah, because it would be bad for the guild to learn that Beauty Blade's father is a major sponsor of Almada. Yeah, it's a bad look for the guild. That's why Elaine resigned. Moments before... Who, who the hell are you? How did you get past security? Oh... They are taking a nap outside. They you needn't them. worry about them. Edmund Eau Claire, I hereby brand you a heretic. What? Oh no, they warned me about you. The Papal Guard. That wasn't my doing, I swear! I didn't- Whether you confess or not is of no consequence. Damn. You will atone for your crimes with your life. Nope. You wanna fight Elaine. Elaine? It has been some time, Father. I never pictured our reunion being under such dire circumstances. Well met, Elaine Eau Claire. I considered the possibility of you interfering with your father's execution. You are a fool to do so, however. Had you known of his myriad crimes, you would not have rushed to defend this trash. Yeah, she already knows. D -d don't listen to a word he's saying. This ruffian is merely trying to deceive you. He must be a petty crook. That's enough, father. I know everything. Yeah, you I suck. learned that the anti-immigrant movement has been financially backing Almada over the last few years. And that you were responsible for that decision. You also happen to be their biggest sponsor. Damn. Yeah, no. As soon as I caught wind of the ties between Almada and the anti-immigrant groups, you immediately came to mind. You have the wealth of the Quincy Company at your fingertips, possess deep, deep political ties, and live in a city close to Meseldom. Your all-consuming obsession with Calvert's long-lost nobility drove- Oh. I guess that's why he hates Van. Damn. You took my dear friend away from me, all because it fit that description. So that's why he sent Van away. He's an asshole. I would've watched that papal guard dude to kill him. But I guess that's not Elaine's way. Yeah. Yeah, no. See this? All of your hidden financial accounts and transactions. I obtained this by making a deal with your business partners. Ooh, so that's the deal with Melchior. I thought she was looking for a way for a weakness for Ariok. Whoa, oh, Melchior actually delivered. This is unequivocal proof that Almada received its funding from the Quincy, Etwas, and oh, even Etwas.
In addition to your regular contributions, you provided extra funding for one of their projects. Oh, he sponsored the nuclear weapon. I have been suspicious of you ever since my days at the academy. Oh. I wanted to believe my doubts were unfounded. That was part of why I became a bracer in the first place. Damn. Yeah, you're screwed, dude. Chief among them being the attack on the trade conference? The one that happened in Crossbell? In the Crossbell arc? Whoa! So is he a sponsor as well of the Imperial Liberation Front? Until the until unthinkable catastrophe that befell Cray. Oh. What? And I will ask that you back down, ensuring that he pays the price for his crimes is my responsibility and I won't allow you to steal that from me. Oh damn. Oh, okay. So this dude is reasonable. Iscariot's true purpose is to punish the criminals who are beyond the reach of the law. If you are able to expose his crimes and see that he is punished for them, we have... Okay, well I like the papal guard now. Yeah. I'm simply going to take you into custody and hand you over to the Capitol Police. Yeah, because you're an asshole. What? 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 You of all people should understand exactly what I'm trying... Huh? The blood of the Marquises of the past flows through... Oh, so they were Calvardian nobles. Oh. Kind of reminds me of the conflict between the Noble Alliance and the Imperial Government in Erebonia. What righteous goal? You launched the nuke! Yeah. Did you know about Almada's plan to destroy Kray? Yeah. They only told me their plan after the fact. Yeah. There's a nuke here. You can fill us in on everything you know at the game. <laughs> I oh, love a juicy family drama. Oh yeah, they can teleport now. What up, Melchior? And Ariok, of course. Ooh. Nice to see you, Vice Captain. Normally, I would not care about what you choose to do on the surface now that you're out of the game. Out of sight and out of mind. However, I couldn't help but notice you harassing our poor sponsor. Did you stumble upon evidence that incriminates him, perhaps? Yeah, you gave the data. Asshole. I hope you know I don't believe in half measures. I may be part of the Mafia now, but I was once a group of assassins, I'll have you know. If I see a chance to kill, I will not- Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Ooh. Nope, Van is already here. I will bring my father to justice and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Whoa. 
Jane! Father! Okay. What's going on? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. You all right, Elaine? Van! Jin, V! What up? Looks like we got her just in the nick of time. So what are you gonna do now, Almada boys? I... I remember you. I saw you last night. Wait... That, that hair looks familiar. Have we met before? Yeah, yeah. He's the kid you threw away. I've never seen you before in my life. You sure you're not getting me mixed up with someone else? Yeah, Van doesn't well, care. Well now, what a twist. Though it isn't a welcome one. Now was the perfect time to bring down the curtain on the president's life. What? Oh, don't act so surprised. Anyone with half a brain would have realized the boss had no interest in your silly oh. anti-immigrant cause. Okay, so I mentioned in the... Yeah, before that, maybe anti-immigration is a big deal to the boss, but I guess it's not. We smiled and nodded so you would line our pockets. But we have no need for money anymore. You have outlived your usefulness. So why are you stopping Elaine? No wonder you were so quick to hand over those records. I see. So, I guess those records are of no consequence now. That's why the deal was made with Elaine. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> I never expected to see so many lovely faces here, especially with the final round on the horizon. Oh yeah, you're dead. Is the wait so unbearable? Are you bored? Well, I am too. Ooh. How about we entertain each other for a little while? We don't have CP. We won't lose to you. We won't let you have your way any longer. I'll take on the vice captain and the bracers. This will be a nice warm up before the final round. Ah, oh, crap. You were marked a heretic long ago. And now it is finally time to put you down. Elaine, let's do this. We'll talk about you running off on your own later. You ready to see this thing through? Of course. Oh, you're screwed, Then let's Melkor. get this exhibition match started. It'll be the perfect prelude to the big finale. You're still an asshole. Don't go dropping dead on me now, or the boss will be very disappointed. Oh. Select the first of the two characters who will fight alongside Van and Elaine. So we need Fairy and Reset. Activating shards. Let's make the most of this. And we can S craft now. How much HP do you have? 114? Oh, you suck. Focus unleashed. Engaging yep. skill. Wings. Boost gauge upgraded. That was... Oh, that sucked. Yeah, let's use Van again. Breathe on to us. I won't let this chance slip by. Yep. Time for the main event. <laughs> as stubborn as ever. I won't let this chance slip by. Uh, yep. More Esquel. Oh, radiant. With crit. Boost gauge upgraded. <laughs> you got me. I love S craft spam. Whoa. -ho. Okay, so they managed to hold off area up there. What? No, the police are here. Alright. Bye!
Although I love to see droves of panic-stricken civilians toppling over each other. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. I don't even care about his uh, life story. So we did get something nice out of the exchange. What? Yeah, you're dead, Mr. President. Pretty damn happy you guys are the ones who'll be challenging. Yeah, alright. <laughs> yep. We'll leave the rest to you. Right. I'm so sorry, Elaine. I don't know how I could have been so blind. You still protected Elaine. But please believe me when I say that... When I say that... Representative Director of the Quincy Company, President Edmund Eau Claire, I am taking you into custody on suspicion of aiding and abetting the Mafia and providing material support to a terrorist organization. Damn. Police arrived on the scene and after concisely explaining the situation, Van contacted the CID. Should have made a copy. Edmund and his accomplices were placed under arrest. Should have made a copy of that. The police might, you know, lose it. Air quotes. And here's the music again. What up, jacket dude? made of sterner stuff. One way or another, she'll make it through. I guess. The vice captain. Oh. The papal guard dude. Ashlad. Once we're all done here, we should get in contact with Agnes. Yeah, well, what was Agnes planning? Wait a moment! Hey, hello. Thank you, everyone. For coming to my aid, and for letting me settle this in my own way. I regret that I won't be able to watch over your efforts to the very end. There is a lot I must go over with the authorities. But I know you will succeed. I believe in you all. I have faith that you and your friends will triumph. That's the plan. We'll kick this game's ass. You played your part to give us this chance at victory, and we're gonna take it. We'll be back with good news before you know it. Of course. I'll be waiting. To advance the main story, select Go to Vashtar Palace from the travel menu. Here we go. But first, let's check out... Oh, here. So, yep. Let's save first. Let's check out for any other events. And we're gonna continue. Yeah, I don't wanna push the story forward without visiting the Orphanage Gang 2.0. Oh! We got invited to a special event. What event? What event? Why are you so excited? What? Excited for what? What? Use my part-time pay on something like this by now. Oh, okay. Help. What? What? Todd and Rinkata. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What event? You got invited to a special event? I don't get it. Anyway, yeah, we've looked all over. We are now headed towards Vastor Palace. Yes. Yeah, I didn't see any other events or sub-events, so... 2.35 PM. I guess Agnes's plan is already finished.
sure they'll be here before long. <laughs> Maybe that's the event. Well, a good deal of prep work around the city. L look! Why is there an airship? Okay, so that's the princess airship. I guess that's the event they were talking about. And he invited the orphanage gang. That's cool. I love it. What? Well, she seems pleased. There's Ouroboros. And they don't care. <laughs> And there's Melchior, what up? You've really gone and done it this time, you filthy spriggan trash! Why, because we kicked your ass? So I guess that's the event that they were talking about. Isn't that the airship we saw in Tharbad? Yeah. That belongs to the princely family of Elsheim. I think it might be carrying all of the city's children on board. Yeah, that's the oh, thing. good. That means the orphanage kids are safe. Ooh, very smart. You're not evacuating. I'm so glad everything went according to plan. Oh, that's Agnes's plan. Hey. Uh, yes. I was looking for Marielle. But wait, d does that mean... That's right. Officially, it's a sightseeing flight to foster relations with the Central East, and to commemorate the ending of the film festival. We spread awareness of it through the Orbal Network and with word of mouth, and said that all children of the city were invited. Yeah, at least the children are safe. We put the connections Dingo left behind to good use. Last night, we reached out to the Crown Prince and asked if we could use the Principality transport vessel. I fully expected him to inquire about why we needed it, but no. He just rushed on over in that airship without a second thought. <laughs> That's cool of him. He is quite the character. I wouldn't be surprised if he was taking inspiration from a certain musician I know. Yes, of course. They're going to spend a couple of hours flying outside the city. Then they'll come on back to Arasion. That's one less thing to worry about while we head off to the final showdown. I'm genuinely speechless. Yeah, I was surprised as well. <laughs> Ah, an impressive feat to be sure. Indeed. Even if the worst case scenario should happen, the children will be out of harm's reach. Yeah. This was a brilliant scheme. You should be proud of yourself, Agnes. Not at all. Admittedly, this was just a self-satisfied gesture that might well have no meaning at all. But I just happened to remember what Dingo once said to Van. Think about what you can do and what you want to do. Oh. She wants to save as much people as possible, but she can only do the rescue, the kids' rescue. And she has contact with the prince. You'll find a clue on how to move forward in the gap between the two. Very well. Make the most of your connections while you're away. The CID is at your beck and call. There are many truths that lie dormant in the gap between ideals and reality. You would do well to seek them out. I also recalled the words of my dad, and it just spurred me to action, I suppose. After I thought up the idea, I spoke to Marielle and Ren, and we all decided to go ahead with it. By the way, I heard about what happened with Elaine through the guild. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there at such an important time. Eh, that's fine. Why the hell are you saying sorry? You just earned us a huge win. You even factored in the Crown Prince's debt to us and turned him into a chess piece for your master plan. <laughs> You've gotten pretty damn sneaky. We better watch out, or we're all gonna be your puppets before long. I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. 
It's almost like you're utterly incapable of offering a genuine compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to start pulling my weight more. Well, she inspired Aaron. What up? Sounds like our allies are on their way. Let's go, guys. It's time to finish this. Right. Let's do this! All right. May Adios be with you all. Do whatever must be done to ensure that Agnes's precautions will be for naught. Here we go. So I guess Dingo is really dead, dead. I guess that's cool in a way, you know. A permanent death, some stakes Key card finally. confirmed. Team Arkride Solutions can now enter the final zone. Here we go. So I guess this is gonna be the final dungeon. And Melchior is pissed at us. This is grand. So Holy this is hell. the interior of Ashtar Palace. It must have been a sight to behold. Before the monarch was overthrown a century ago. Almost time for our final battle. Indeed. Though I am unsure of what to expect from the remaining Almada members. Yeah, I guess we're gonna kill Ariok and Melchior. But we'll see. Maybe Melchior has some sort of backstory that's sad enough for us to, you know, stay our hand. But we'll see. I really hate this Guts, although he is a fun character. I'll tell you what we can expect. They'll come at us, and we'll beat their asses to a bloody pulp. And we'll stop them from detonating the bomb. Sounds like a plan. Let's get this party started! Time to put the pedal to the metal and go after them. Full speed ahead! Yeah, Vance really not good at the speeches. Unlike Reen and Lloyd. He does have some cringy lines, but yeah, that's fine, I guess. Whew, that hits the spot. Anyway, do we have CP? No, we do not. Do we have CP? No, she has CP. She ha he has CP. She has CP. No CP. Alright. Okay then. Cool. <laughs> 